Well, I listened to John Ramani Mahama, my boss, the flag bearer, my brother. And I, told, I thought that it wasn't even bold enough. <laughs> I thought it wasn't bold enough. You see, John Ramani Mahama is our flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress. If you are going by the 2016 results, it represents more than 4 million people. 4 million people of this country or more have reposed their confidence and trust in him. 4 million people are waiting for, them, for him to lead them to meet their reasonable and legitimate expectations to hold this government accountable. I wanted him to look directly in the eyes of Nana Kufado and tell him that what he is doing won't wash. It won't wash. Because, and I am saying that knowing full well that nobody has ever been given rights. You have to do what? You have to fight for those rights. You don't give, nobody gives you rights. But I'm prepared to go with my brother, my boss, Nana, uh, 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 John Dramadu Mahama, that what he has said actually sends also the message. It sends message. But I only wish that there will be more fire. How would you have couched it? I would have looked Nana Akofado in the face and the electoral commission in the face and tell them that they better watch out. They shouldn't try anything funny because we will not go along with them. We will not. Because this country belongs to all of us. This is Ghana, within the territorial confines of a country called Ghana. The country doesn't belong to one set of people. And we know, as a matter of fact, that all the scheme in the shenanigans, the the electoral commission and the appointment and the and the mode of appointment, the NIA, and the appointment, the mode of appointment, the CI, and everything that has got to do with the early election of Nana Akufado has been scripted. It's scripted. And NIA, Electoral Commission, even majority in Parliament are acting according to the script. Why? In, in, in private conversations with members of parliament on the majority side, Masa, they tell us that they also don't understand. Who. They tell us, ah, but we don't understand this thing. How can you say that the voter ID card that produce me should not be used for the purposes of compiling a new register? That is a poisonous tree. No, I say in private conversations with members of parliament on the majority side. He said, this thing will disturb us all. In my constituency like this, how many people have passports or uh, NI? They tell us in private conversations. But when it comes to voting, they put their tails in between their ties, their legs, and vote yes. We have always, we have known we are known as a minority in parliament that the total number of minority in parliament is 106. And by Article 11 of the Constitution, you need 183 members of parliament to vote against a CI to prevent it from maturing. Or broadly, a legislative instrument or an instrument to prevent it from maturing. We are known. But we had wanted the records of parliament to capture our sentiments for the purposes of history. 
that once upon a time there was a parliament and there was a minority in parliament we saw the mischief being perpetrated by the electoral commission in the CI and rose to oppose it. What did that captured? It has been captured. But we all knew, we knew. KD, we knew that we're not going to get the CI annulled. Because the 106, assuming all the 106 of us were present in parliament, we would have needed 77 members of MPP to join us. To get 183. I can you, that, that would have been, in the words of Kelvin Taylor, Jesus Christ going to Angunoga to befriend an Angunoga girl. It would have been impossible. Impossible. So we knew. But for the purposes of history, we wanted that captured. You see, today, every day, we are hearing people say, and just two days ago, 100, over 100 lecturers of the various universities signed a petition to say that, look, electoral commission, watch it. Yeah. Never in the history of this country, especially the Fourth Republic, that a register is being compiled for the purposes of elections six months to the election. Never. In fact, the, the compilation, according to the timetable of the Electoral Commission, will start five months. Five months to the election. Never! We are not talking about compiling, verifying, and certifying the register for the purposes of elections. So we are not talking about that. We're not talking about the register being ready for members or stakeholders to have copies to verify. We're not even talking about that. We're just talking about putting in place the fundamental requirement for a free, fair election that you must have a register of voters who are entitled to vote in the 2020 elections. Yeah. And we see the long arm of the MPP administration manipulating the Electoral Commission and the NIA like puppets on the string being pulled to behave exactly the way the master wants them to behave. And that is why John Dramani Mahama is sounding the warning that we will not accept it. Well, we will resist anybody in the NDC who will accept flawed elections. The elections must be a manifestation of the express wishes of the people of this country, captured in votes freely cast by the people of Ghana, entitled to vote in that election in accordance with Article 42 of the Constitution. That is the only election results that we will accept. Meaning, all citizens of Ghana of 18 years of age and of sound mind must vote if they want to vote in that election. That is the only results we will accept. I will not accept it if you go to my constituency and decide that you will put polling agents at my station and all those who have no NIA cards or passports would be challenged and make it difficult for their names to be on the electoral roll for the purposes of 2020 election. Because, media, they throw Abu Ramadan at our face. Abu Ramadan has he ever contested election? Does he know what goes into election? Does he know that polling station, the polling station, the thousand people who vote in the polling station in most constituencies are known to each other? Does he know that? If you have contested elections before, you know that that polling station, where the people come to, to register, all the people there, especially where we are come from, they know each other. In my polling station, my polling station is, is Tishugu Central Box, ADB. Uh, 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 
And that police station was a temporary police station. It's now a permanent police station. Those who cast their votes there, and those who register there, are either my brothers, my cousins, my uncles, my aunties, neighbors, tenants. I know everybody. I know everybody. But not everybody in that police station has an NIA card or a, a passport. And oh, hey, Master, are you a guardian? <laughs> Why is it that when you go to register, you have to prove that you are a guardian? Why? Are you a guardian? Mm. Ah, why you, do, you don't need to answer. You have to say that that's a stupid question. Mm. Because the Constitution presumes you to be a guardian. The Constitution presumes you to be a guardian. Well, what is the NEC going to do now? We know that it's not a CIA. And then there's not tell me that me, I'm going to register. I'm not a guardian until I prove, I, I, I prove that I'm a guardian. What crap is that? Can only happen under Nana Kufado. And this is their thinking, oh. This is their thinking. That's all. That, that's their thinking. So you go to my house, all the people, my, my fathers and mothers and brothers and aunties, are not going so, until they have a national ID card or they have a passport. If they don't, those who have them when they register, then they now come and vouch for that they are Ghanaian so they can be on the register. What kind of law is this? And you don't see, and when we are talking, people, in, people don't see that this is an orchestrated attempt to get some people off the register. They don't see it. Hey, my grandfather bought his dog. John Mulana, he was called from Johanne, and you know Johanne very well. He was the chief of Johanne, my grandfather, direct grandfather. He bought his dog and named the dog in the Bani. This is like we. You are all here. We'll see what will happen. What will happen? We'll see what will happen. What will happen? <laughs>